Jet GPT-4 is considered to be world's most powerful large language model as we speak. But Google believes that its Gemini LLM is the most powerful one and they have been innovating like anything for the last one month. Last week, they announced this Gemini and it comes in three flavors, Ultra, Pro and Nano. Just yesterday, Google has announced that Gemini Pro is now publicly available on Vertex AI. Vertex AI is Google Cloud's end-to-end -end AI platform that includes intuitive tooling, fully managed infrastructure, and built-in privacy and safety features. With the help of Gemini Pro, now developers can build agents that can process and act on information. There are various new features available with Gemini, but in order to summarize it, the, what you need to remember is that it is a competitor of ChatGPT4. So ChatGPT4 is really, if you have played with it, and if you have watched few of my videos, you would know that ChatGPT excels, especially the 4.1, in a lot of tasks, including text generation, summarization, and a lot of other things. But Gemini is also a step closer to the vision which Google believes is the ultimate LLM. Gemini is a result of large-scale collaboration efforts by teams across Google and a lot of other research companies. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can play around with this Gemini in Vertex AI and also how you can use it in your API. So let's get started. Log into your Google account. If you don't have one, create one with your Gmail account and log in there. You get free credits too. And Google is quite generous in that regard. I'm already logged into my Google account. Now, once you are in this Google account, then click on these three lines and then search or maybe just search here in the middle in for Vertex AI. Once you are in the Vertex AI service, as you can see, I am on the left hand side, click on multimodal. And then at the very right, you see that I have already selected Gemini Pro Vision. You can select any other model, but let's go with Gemini Pro Vision at the moment. And I'm in this region, US Central 1, Iowa. In this middle box, you give your prompt, like, like just I have asked, what is the capital of Australia? Let me make it proper. And on the right hand side, you can select various parameters like I already told you that you can select your model, your region, and you can select any other uh, region closer to you. It's not available in every region, but many regions, uh, it's already there. Then you can select the temperature, token limit, and then this is really cool where you can add safety settings. For example, you can control hate speech dangerous content, sexually explicit content, harassment, and a lot of other content you can block. And then you can set some of the top P and top uh, K values. These are the sampling values. And they, for example, top, key, top K sampling refers to selecting the next token randomly from a specified number K of tokens with the highest probabilities, whereas Top P sampling refers to selecting the next token randomly from the smaller set of tokens for which the cumulative probability exceeds the specified value P. I have various other videos where I describe it in more simpler way with, with examples. Okay, now let's give it this uh, prompt. Just click on submit and let's wait for it. There you go. The response is fairly quick. You can see here. In this blue line it says Kendra. So this is how you can access this in um, in your console. If you want to do it through API, then let me show you the API. And if you are struggling to find code, Google has made it quite easy. On the top right, just click on this Get Code, and you will have this code here where you can, if you don't have already Google Cloud AI platform um, API installed, install it. And even if you have it installed upgrade it because this uh, new API function, which is this Vertex A preview generative model might not be available in your previous version. 
and all you need to do is to run this pip install upgrade command to upgrade it or install it and then run this this is a python code we also have node.js java and also this api through car okay cool now let me take you to my code editor where i'll show you how to use it in full program in python so this is my VS Code editor. First, I'm just importing some of the run of the mill libraries like Vertex CI and also the generative model preview. Then this is a fun simple function I've defined generate where I'm taking this Gemini provision model and then I'm giving it this prompt with all the uh, hyperparameters which I mentioned earlier in the console. We are streaming the response, looping through it. And this is where we call this function. Okay, so let me run it and this is my local machine where i'm running it so just calling fire gemini dash pro let's wait for it and there you go it has produced us the response here as we have selected this vision model so let's play around with some of the images not only you can talk with your images you can also ask questions about your videos so click on insert media and let me select one of the images from my local system. So I have just selected this image and then maybe I'm just going to ask what is the text in this image. Click on submit. Let's see. I will let it run so that you would also be able to see the speed of this. There you go. So let me quickly show you the image which I used. So this was the image. This is just a thumbnail for one of my previous YouTube videos. And when I have asked the Google in Vertex AI, it has it is saying me that Alpha Code 2 explained simply and Google. So it was able to perfectly read the text from that images. Let me ask it one more question. Is there any, is there any photo <clears throat> of human in this image? If yes, who is that person? Let's search it. And as you can see here, that is my own thumbnail. It says, yes, there is a photo for the image. The person is Sundar Pichai. He is the CEO of Alpha Beta King. Okay. Well, congratulations to me for my promotion. But this is uh, where it has got wrong. Anyway, pretty interesting. Now, let's try to do the same in our uh, API from our code. In order to get the code, just click on get code from here and you can get the sample and you can simply pick up the function and embed it in your code. So let me go to my VS code here. So this is my VS code. I have imported the same libraries. I have already copied this image in my local directory. And then I'm just calling this function generate with the same uh, stuff, the hyperparameters, my prompt here, and the Gemini provision. And then I'm going through this. Yeah, let me quickly. I think I just double posted it. I'll remove this code. Okay, we save it and now let's run it. Provision this is the same image, and I'm asking, but the text is in the image. Let's wait for it. There you go. It says the text in this image says the world is full of nice people. If you can't, I think that is totally wrong. That is not the image. That is certainly not the <clears throat> text in that image. But anyway, I think in the console it works fine, but from the API it is still hallucinating. But all in all, a really good model, I would say. Uh, very impressed by it, especially the ease of which you can use it. And the biggest thing for me is the fact that now we have a competitor of chat GPT-4 because no one wants to have a monopoly. So it's quite, quite good to see. I hope that other companies like Anthropic is doing a lot of work on Cloud2 and AWS is also doing some work on few of its models. So hopefully we will have more competition, which means more quality and 
low pricing. Thanks for watching. If you are struggling, if you have any questions, please put it in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.